So I wanted to share a few of the materials with you that I'm planning to use for our makeover of our dollhouse. This is the Plan Toys Victorian dollhouse. And we're gonna be giving it a little um, personalization with a few things. So I'll start with paint. I do think that I'll paint some of the house. I'm thinking I'll paint the front, but I haven't quite figured out which portions will be painted and which portions I'm gonna leave natural, but I'm going to be using just regular acrylic paint. I have white and then I got this green color as an accent. Um, trying to keep it really neutral and foam brushes is probably the way I'm going to go there. Inside the dollhouse, we're going to be adding some wallpaper to some of the rooms to give them some color, adding some artwork on the walls, and then doing some DIY furniture. So I'll start with wallpaper. Um, these are wallpaper scraps that I picked up at a local sort of crafting thrip, thrift shop. Um, they, we have a whole bunch. So some of these are obviously going to be really cool and might make a neat flooring pattern. And then others of them will be for the walls. They're kind of vintage -y, which I think is fun. I think it'll match the theme of the house pretty nicely. So we've got these wallpaper scraps here that I'll be using to decorate in the interior and then for wall art I found these old pins and watch pieces at the same thrift shop which will be awesome for frames um, you can my kids might create some of the art that we'll put in the frames I also found these books which have all kinds of cool old photos in them and maps and things like that and I think that I'll look through these and see if we can find some neat pictures to put on the walls. We may also make some of our frames out of cardboard. So anything like this that you can thrift, um, you get a little bit of reuse out of. Um, it'll also save you some money in your dollhouse remodel. Found these two. Maybe these could be cool for um, something on the wall as well, or we could even use them as plates to go on the kitchen table, make some little pretend food for them. And then for furniture, I have two things that I'm doing. We do have some of the furniture from Plan Toys, which is beautiful. It's the same natural, like unfinished, what is the rest of the house and the fabrics that they use are really pretty too. So we have some of that and I may paint some of it. We also found this on eBay. So you can buy secondhand dollhouse furniture in a lot of places. This one was from a lot at an estate sale. Um, was not very expensive. So I purchased this and I'll be painting this one, giving it a little character to add and it fits really nicely. Um, I'm thinking this will be a part of our kitchen, maybe even painting like a stove top up here. Um, and we'll see what I end up doing with that. And then I'm also gonna build furniture from recycled materials, cardboard, um, small wood pieces, toilet paper tubes, egg cartons are sort of what I'm thinking right now for furniture building. Last thing I'm gonna do for our dollhouse is make some people. So these are wooden peg dolls. You can pick them up um, at craft stores in small numbers or if you're looking for a larger number, there are a lot of places online for them. Um, painted them green, because again, I'm going with sort of a green on the outside of the house for now. And then I'll um, be adding some details to them as well to go in our house. Really excited to share this whole process with you from start to finish. The next thing we're gonna actually be doing is adding a basement to our house. Um, Plan Toys is getting ready to launch a basement for the Victorian dollhouse. So I'll be sharing that with you and then we'll get this makeover underway.